you will be doing an online virtual evolution lab. And to do that, you're going to need to be on this website. And I'm going to show you how to get there. So in Canvas, you are going to first need to log in to the Evolution Lab. So you're going to click on this link that says Go to Nova Labs, and it's going to open up this page. It's a little different. On the top right-hand side of the screen, for some reason, mine says Log Out. Um, but you want it to say be green and say Log In. So if it for some reason says Log Out already, just log yourself out. You're going to click Log In. And you're going to then sign in with Google. Once you've signed in with Google and connected your account, you can go ahead and actually close this tab. Now, when I have signed in with Google, then I'm going to go to the actual Evolution Lab. So here's the link to that lab, which I showed you at the beginning. And the very first thing you want to do is you want to go over to the little yellow person in the top left of your screen and make sure that it has your name. It might have your student ID number if you log in with your student ID. I'm not sure how that works, but make sure it says your name or your student ID number. If it says guest, that means it's not going to save your work. And notice that these missions are locked and you have to unlock them by doing each step. And so you want to make sure that you are logged in to your account and you see your name, because if you're on, for example, a school Chromebook, when you close your Chromebook, you're logged out, everything is lost. So make sure that you are signed in with your name. If you are not signed in, if you do see guests, go back up and redo this first set of steps. All right, now the next thing you need to do is get the lab instructions and the guide. So you're going to click on this link and it's going to ask you to make a copy of your document. So it will say copy of and then the lab. What you need to do is open this up in Doc Hub. So up at the top center, you're going to choose open with and you're going to click on Doc Hub. If you do not see Doc Hub as one of your connected apps, go down to the bottom of the list and choose connect more apps, type in Doc Hub, and then you'll be able to open with Doc Hub. Now that it's open up in Doc Hub, I'm going to close my PDF because I don't need that tab open. This is a fillable Google, or sorry, not a Google form. It's a fillable PDF. So you can type in your name and the date. And then what you need to do is make sure that you read each of the steps. So the first part is Evolution 101. And it talks about the lab, how it's going to help you understand how scientists piece together the tree of life. And you're going to be working on mission one. But before you work on mission one, it says to watch the introductory video, Evolution 101, and answer questions one through five below. So you're going to go over to the Evolution Lab tab, and you're going to see the Evolution 101 video here. So you're going to play that, watch it, and then answer these questions. When you answer the questions, you can just choose the check boxes. For question four, you have to type in an answer. And number five, again, is a um, multiple choice. Now, we've finished the Evolution 101. So the next part is mission number one, training trees. And in the instructions, again, read them. It tells you exactly what to do. You're going to go into mission number one, click play, and then you are going to first watch the video that you'll find in mission number one. You'll go back to the document. I think the video automatically plays. So it automatically plays right when you come in. And um, then you're going to answer the questions. Check, some of them are check boxes, some of them are short answers. And once you've finished the video, then you're going to start the first part of the mission, red, green, and gecko. And it gives you, you're going to do that activity, and then you're going to answer when you're done. You're going to answer questions six through nine. So here is red, green, and gecko. You click play, and it tells you kind of what to do. Read the directions. Look at the magnifying glass. It will give you some tips and hints, um, especially after watching the video. You'll know what you need to do. 
Now, for some of the questions, question number eight says that you need to draw your completed tree in an equivalent tree based on question number five from the intro of the section. So to do drawings in Doc Hub, you have this menu up at the top of the screen, and I put a screenshot here for you with some instructions. You can add text like species names by clicking on the text and typing in information. You can use a drawing tool. So here you have shapes and lines, but you also have a pen. So you can draw in your tree. There's also a highlight tool if you need that, and you can highlight. If you want to change any of the colors, notice that when I'm on the highlighter, I can change the color here. When I'm on a pen or on the text, I can change all of the different colors. And you have these different tools that you will be using throughout this lab. So you'll be doing some drawing, you'll be drawing some lines. So when you see these sets of instructions here, that's what you're going to do. Now, when you are all done with this document, what you are going to do to get ready to turn it in, you're going to go up to the top right and you're going to click on this button that has an arrow that's facing down and it's download or export. Then you're going to choose Google Drive and you are going to click export to drive and it's going to then save this edited document to your Google Drive. And so I can show it in my Google Drive just so I can see what it looks like. And you can see it has the ones that I checked or I wrote type in an answer. You can see my drawing that I just did over here. So you can turn this in now in Canvas. To make sure that you have actually turned it in correctly and that it has your answers on it, when you get that little submission receipt in the top right hand side of Canvas, there is an option to download your file. If you download your file, you can then open up this the PDF that you turned in and see if it has the answers and all of your work on it. If it doesn't, that means you didn't submit it correctly. If you need help, ask your teacher or always come back and watch the videos for instructions.